Hello, you are Fred Alexander, the stage magician? Asked a man of a famous stage magician outside the entrance of the theater where Fred worked. Yes. Fred smiled charmingly, thinking the man was a fan. The man took some photos out of a bag and handed them to Fred. Do you want me to sign them? Look at them, Mr. Alexander. Fred did, and he was horrified. Are you all right, Dad? Yes, I, I am fine. Fred lied, putting on a smile and hiding the pictures. Fred invited the man to go on a private tour of the theater. The man naturally agreed. Fred took him to his dressing room. Where did you get those pictures? I took them myself, said the man observing Fred's reaction. He was like a trapped animal. You took them? Oh, I see. What do you want for them? You must pay for them with blood. Fred felt sick. He despised killers and killing. Who am I meant to kill? A magician. A stage magician? No one of the magicians. It struck like a ton of bricks. He was one of them, and he didn't want to kill one of them. Which magician? Fred felt scared he knew them. The king of the earth. Fred thought he was joking. Are you serious? Yes, deadly serious. Fred felt more scared. He knew the king and knew he could not kill him. The king couldn't die. He was the closest thing to an immortal there was. But he couldn't tell him that. I will do as you ask, Fred said, knowing he couldn't. The stranger took the photos and left. Later, that week at an intergalactic political summit, while the celestial emperor Sapphiris was hobnobbing with politicians, his wife Anna observed he was distracted and looked as if he was looking for someone in the crowds of fans, friends, and political agents. Anna, are you alright? You look worried. Said Fred's grandson Blake. Anna responded. Blake offered to talk to Sapphiris. I'll talk to him. Maybe he'll confide in me more. Anna appreciated Blake's concern. You're precious, Blake. Anna said, and Blake wandered off to talk to Fred. Blake walked up to Fred and slapped him on the back. Fred was startled and scared. He glared at Blake. Don't do that, boy. Fred refused to be led anywhere. He feared the talk he knew would come, and he didn't want to have to tell Blake about the blackmailer. Do I have to hypnotize you, Gramps? We need a powwow. No! Fred reluctantly agreed, and they went to a quiet place to talk. Blake expressed his concern. Anna and I are worried about you. You are acting like you are in trouble. Fred looked nervous, ashamed, and shifty. I am fine. There you go lying again. I am not lying. Fred stormed in a dramatic huff, knowing Blake was right. Fred had fear in his eyes. Blake knew him. He was very worried about something. Blake knew he was proud he seldom asked for help, but that was a cry for help if ever he saw one, whether Fred knew it or not. Blake was determined to help him and find out what was bothering Fred. So Blake did all he could do. He stalked Fred. Later, as Blake followed Fred, he saw Fred meeting a man in the street. Fred was scared of this man. He saw the man hand Fred a knife, and Fred accepted it. The blackmailer left him to do his dire work. Who is the knife for, Fred? Blake demanded, stomping up to the startled Fred and snatching the knife. Nobody. Then why do you need a weapon to kill no one? He wants me to kill someone. I was caught. Why? Doing what? Blake asked, worried. Disposing of a body. Fred said sadly, looking at the ground. Whose body? Who killed it? I don't know, he kidnapped me and killed me and saw me come back to life a few times. He knew who I was, I had to kill him. I understand, but who does he want you to kill? Demanded Blake. The king of the earth, said Fred, sighing. You? Said Blake. Does he know who you are? No, Fred said. You can do that, said Blake. How? Asked Fred. I can't die, then say I killed myself. You can, said Blake. Fred looked puzzled. A day later on another street. Fred and the blackmailer met a masked alien superhero, the magician, called the King of the Earth, who was a fan of Fred's. He'd seen him and the blackmailer together and came over for a signature. Okay, I'll give you a- said Fred, who was a fan of the King. Now Alexander, shouted the blackmailer. Do I have to? said Fred reluctantly. Do you have to what? asked the King. Do you want me to tell him what I know? asked the blackmailer. Fred reluctantly pulled out the knife and the King looked puzzled. Is this a trick? asked the King. Yes, said the blackmailer. Oh good, I like tricks, said the king. Fred closed his eyes and stabbed the king. The king looked shocked and died. Is it done? asked Fred, peeking. Yes, said the smiling blackmailer. Can I have the photos? asked Fred. The blackmailer handed over the photos to Fred. Why don't you like him? asked Fred of the king. I didn't like him, that's all I'll say, said the blackmailer. Another magician appeared out of thin air next to them. Dad, are you committing harikari? You know it won't kill you, if it did, I'd have done it myself, said the magician Lakelandite, Blake's son. Thanks, boy, said Fred, who was Blake's older self. Fred and Blake were time travelers, the same one at different points in life. 
What's going on? Asked the confused blackmailer who saw this as a trick and sang like a canary. He is a murderer. I caught him disposing of a body. I saw him. He has the photos. Lakelandite took the photos from the frightened Fred. Fred looked nervously at Lakelandite who glared at his father Fred. Fred looked scared of his son's reaction. Then Lakelandite laughed and shook his hand. Fred and the blackmailer looked at him as if he was mad. Welcome to the family. I thought you were a black sheep, the only clean skin in the family, said Lakelandite, who was a serial killer. He kept killing me, it was getting annoying and he knew I couldn't die, Fred said. Lakelandite killed the puzzled blackmailer. Here's one on me, said Lakelandite. You psychopath, hissed Fred. Lakelandite wandered over and kicked the king. Come on, come back to life, Lakelandite said. A grim reaper who was hiding came out of hiding and touched the body of the king and went poof and the king got up. Psychopath, moaned the king who was Blake, Fred's younger self in disguise. 